This summer, APHIS, the U.S. Department of Agriculture Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, hosts a series of seven courses designed to teach foreign agricultural officials about animal and plant health safeguarding practices in the U.S. The courses are designed by APHIS's international services to help foreign agricultural officials develop science-based regulatory systems that help prevent the introduction and establishment of harmful pests and diseases. It's been interactive, and that's, that's how we, we had hoped it would be. The visiting officials learn about disease control strategies, risk analysis and assessment, and laboratory network support from APHIS experts. These topics will enable participating countries to have stronger agricultural infrastructures and potentially a brighter future in international trade. I'll bring uh, the, the, the knowledge uh, learned here to, 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 to my country, and I will try, try to, to, to make in line our quarantine system with, with, with the U.S. model. In June, plant health officials from Haiti, South Africa, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh and Mexico participated in a plant health systems analysis course, one of seven courses offered by APHIS International Services. It really it's, it's really for them to reflect and for them to assess their system very closely. So what we're doing is we're presenting our system as a, as a model for them to do that. Course topics include fundamental concepts of plant health, international standards and agreements, legislative authorities, and plant health regulatory functions. Specific sessions include sessions on regulations and procedures, inspections, sampling, treatments, trapping and surveillance, pest identification, risk analysis, systems approaches, emergency management, biotechnology, public outreach, and other related topics. The lab aspect of it was interesting, and also we had a, 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 some, sim not, it was not a simulation, well, how they issue a permit to export. It was also in, in North Carolina, and it was okay, it was okay. So we, we had a, a, a practic practical case to see how all the theor theoretical stuff was applied on the field with real people, with people they are doing their job, their jobs, so the guy with the uniform in, in the, the, you know, the USDA guy, and explaining all the process to, to issue the permit for, for exportation. At the end of the course, participants will have the opportunity to assess how their organizations respond to plant health issues. When they get back to their countries, they are encouraged to give us feedback six months after, and we ask them to do an action plan. So they're going to uh, report back on their initiatives, their actual action steps, and the status of their progress. They've gotten an overview of how we approach plant health and quarantine, which, which really was what we wanted to achieve in terms of the, the technical delivery. And now um, their own analysis will, will be demonstrated here in, in a few minutes.